Covering Colorado, we're a little more than a month into this legislative session and lawmakers, they're working to make some major changes. With Colorado growing quickly in metro areas, rural parts of the state, they're doing their best to keep up. New science Allison Zimmerman explains the challenges businesses face and if the decisions lawmakers have made are helping or hurting. Unless you're passing through here, people aren't usually coming this way unless you're from here. Make a stop in Colorado's Eastern Plains and you'll learn a few things. Southeastern Colorado, boy, it is a uh, great place to live. You know, the stars are one of the uh, uh, brightest uh, and most beautiful I've ever seen in my entire life. As is the case in most of Colorado, the people who live here love it. I can't really deal with the, the busyness of the city and the rush. And with the state's capital situated in the largest city, locals say it's easy to feel forgotten, even though it's the rural parts of the state that put food on our dinner tables. It's going to be a constant need for us to that live in rural areas, that work in rural, er, rural areas, and service rural areas to keep that mindset at the forefront. Brian Burney runs a manufacturing business in La Junta. His company is a popular campaign stop for politicians at the state and national level. Uh, most people who run for elected office uh, mean well. Uh, and they, uh, they, they have good intentions when they, when they enact legislation that gets passed. But he admits Eastern Colorado runs into a lot of challenges when it comes to funding schools. Not many people live out here and property values aren't as high as they are in mountain resort towns. Uh, legislators think that uh, because you insert the word rural into legislation that it's going to be good. Uh, for rural parts of the state and maybe it's good for one particular municipality or and the list of challenges doesn't end there are, there are just uh, there, there's really a laundry list of challenges with rising cost of health care finding affordable options nearby is a struggle the um, an MRI or something like that uh, uh, is much less expensive 50 miles from here than it is uh, two miles from here. But lawmakers are working to address this. This session alone, there's a new committee to address bills related specifically to rural Colorado, which is giving a renewed sense of optimism. Makers are more uh, in tune to uh, rural Colorado. Jack Johnston is the CEO of CECOM, a broadband service for rural parts of the state, something he says is advancing the economy. It's going to take, uh, it's going to take broadband for us to get there. We continue to see uh, the prospect of growth really on the rise. Last year, a bill to expand rural broadband to parts of Colorado was a big help, but coming up with the money to address many of these issues remains a concern. The things that lawmakers say that, uh, you know, perturbs me so much when they say it is that uh, uh, that's you've got local control over that issue and really uh, I think they're ignoring the fact that we also have local money. Money that doesn't come in big sums. In recent years lawmakers have allocated millions of dollars to services like hospitals and broadband but with a budget in the billions rural Coloradans hope this is the year lawmakers take a hard look at the challenges ahead. Important elements of our economy are being driven out of rural uh, communities like ours. Several bills already in the works at the Capitol. Representative Bree Buentello from Pueblo expected to introduce legislation at the end of this week to address a physician shortage in rural parts of the state. Now the list of all those other pieces of legislation for those folks who live there are being looked at by lawmakers. Visit this story right now on the News 5 app.